So I've been really excited for this recipe. It took me a while to put together. I kind of had to take it through trial and error over and over again, I think like seven or eight times. It's actually really easy to make once you get all the ingredients. It's just combining them all together and letting them sit in the whiskey. Where we get a little wacky with this one is gonna be the adding of the dried mushrooms. This is a really weird recipe and you're cool in my book if you went for it and made some. That mushroom with the fresh herbs and the juniper just make it so foresty. It's like I fell asleep in the woods with my mouth open. Woodland whiskey. Four days later, strain this through cheesecloth over a fine strainer into a clean glass jar. Seal it up and you're done. This is a super versatile infusion. You can just drink it over a big cube in a rocks glass or substitute it for a lot of different cocktails that call for whiskey. Let's go make one right now. Doors closing. Hoo -wee. A woodland whiskey smash. Can't wait to try this. Oh yeah, it's fruity, citrusy, a little floral from that lavender. Those deep earthy herbal tones from the thyme and the rosemary combined with that bright tone of the mint is really good. And hey, if you don't have any of these fancy boy cocktail glasses, I really like this one on some crushed ice. I'm gonna drink this whole thing. Try out the Woodland Whiskey, guys, and let me know what you think. You can send me some pictures on my email below or on my Instagram if you make some cocktails with it. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. Oh,